hi family it's your girl ima bong here welcome back to another video if this is your first time on this channel my name is ima bong and i make natural hair videos like one of these ones and sometimes skincare videos if you're interested in this type of content be sure to click the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out any content when i post it every three to four days a week now if you're a returning subscriber thank you so much for your support and to all my new subscribers guys thank you so much i'm so blown away thank you so much for joining the family so in today's video i'm going to show you guys how to make your own homemade onion shoes for maximum hair growth so our first ingredient is onions onions is packed with um, different types of acids nutrients and natural chemicals that are beneficial to your hair follicles and scalp Onions is also loaded with sulfur and this sulfur is a chemical element that acts as an antibacterial and antifungal stimulant for your scalp and hair follicles. A study uh, in 2002 showed that those who use onions juice to wash their hair had significantly higher results compared to those who use regular tap water to wash their hair as regarding hair growth. Onions juice helps improve hair growth by boosting the level of antioxidants in your hair follicles thereby providing maximum nutrients to your hair strands. Onions juice is also great in treating issues such as dandruff, flaky scalp and itchy scalp. Onions um, juice is also really good in preventing hair thinning, also increases blood circulation to the scalp thereby providing more oxygen to that particular area of your scalp. Onions juice has also been proven to prevent premature grain of hair because it induces hair enzymes that helps reverse the growth of grey hair. So my next ingredient is fresh ginger. Ginger is a great hair remedy for hair thinning. Ginger has also been used traditionally to reduce hair loss and to promote hair growth. Fresh ginger roots contain um, magnesium, potassium, phosphorus and vitamins and these nutrients provide your hair follicles with maximum nourishment, leaving them strong and preventing hair falling. Dandruff and hair loss often uh, tend to go hand in hand because this happens because the dead skin cells clog your follicles leading to hair fall. So ginger has a potent antifungal properties that helps in controlling dandruff and also in turn it also curbs hair loss. Ginger contains um, uh, what is it called fatty acids such as linoleic acids which nourishes your hair, hair strands, hair follicles and also keeps your hair strong and very healthy. Ginger is also really good for scalp massages because it pro promotes blood circulation in that area and provides optimum nutrients for your scalp. So my next ingredient is aloe vera. I already went ahead to soak my aloe vera in warm water for about 15 minutes to get rid of the yellowy sap which tends to kind of irritate the skin when it comes in contact with it and I also heard that that yellowy sap is poisonous. I don't know how true it is. Please comment down in the section below if you share the same view about the yellowy sap from uh, aloe vera. Aloe vera also contains 75 um, potentially uh, active components including essential proteins, amino acids, proteolytic enzymes, saponins, minerals and vitamins that are greatly really really beneficial for your hair. Aloe vera can also be used in treating and preventing hair baldness and also preventing hair thinning. Do not forget guys that aloe vera has great moisturizing properties that protect your hair shaft from damage and in return it also um, prevents hair breakage. The antioxidants in aloe vera protect your hair from UV rays and every other environmental damage you could think of. Aloe vera also gently cleanses the scalp without uh, 
without leaving your scalp dry or without leaving your hair dry also helps in removing products build up so after scooping my aloe vera gel with the aid of my spoon i went ahead to blend this three powerful ingredients together so we could easily get our onions juice if you don't have a blender i would suggest you could use a regular mortar and a pistol pound the mixture gently and you should be able to um, get some juice from that uh, other than that um, here yeah, this is how our blended mixture looks like I gently sieved with my wig cap I gently sieved guys I didn't want particles in my mixture so I took my time and pressing out uh, the onions juice Next, I transferred uh, onion juice into my applicator bottle and went ahead to add my super hair growth oil. Guys, this oil really does wonders to my hair. If you haven't watched how to prepare this super hair growth oil, click the link. I'll link it. I'll link it down below in the description box. Click to see how it's been prepared. Super simple but very very effective and very accessible ingredients. So I only I gauged my oil my super hair growth oil and then i followed it up with my peppermint oil i basically just use the peppermint oil to kind of max the smell of onions which is really not so bad after i added my hair um, my super hair growth oil followed it up with my lavender oil i also added a cup full of that into a mixture so I get this question a lot, can I use onion juice every day? My answer will be, um, if you have a problem that you want to focus on or and you don't mind um, smelling a little bit like onions because this really doesn't have a bad smell guys. The lavender and the mint oil does max the smell of the onions if you don't really mind smelling like um, onions a little bit. So I would I would say go ahead you could use this onion juice uh, you could put it in your applicator bottle and apply it to your scalp gently massage uh, you could also do a patch test on your hands guys please do a patch test to ensure that your skin doesn't react to it and uh, you could also use this onion juice um, could use it as a pre pre treatment could apply it to your scalp allow it to sit for 30 minutes to one hour and then follow it up with your with your regular shampoo but if you want to use this onion juice consistently for for one week i'll say go ahead so guys i typically use this onion juice once every three days on my scalp and it has helped me to thicken my hair and also to grow my hair faster scalp massaging is really important when it comes to hair growth so i would recommend when you apply this onion juice to your scalp use your fingers to massage it into your hair follicles as they are more gentler than any scalp massaging tools i also do apply this uh, onion juice to my edges and gently massage to to my edges i don't rub guys because this mixture is really potent i just gently massage it into my uh, edges so guys that's the end of this video if you enjoyed this video please be sure to give me a thumbs up comment down below any question you may have for me and don't forget to hit that red subscribe button and turn on your post notification so you get notified whenever i post new videos like this I'll see you guys in my next video. Stay safe guys. Bye.